right, welcome back to another v Doug video. We're kicking this one off from the golf cart on the GoPro, headed back down to the water. You know what time it is. Let's get it. Came down here last night, tried to catch some fish right at sunset. No luck. So I'm strapped up with the GoPro, headed down to the water right now on Evan Rude, the 2008 club car precedent 48 volt. They see me rolling. Seen that dude in the gym, he was getting after it. Cove is looking crispy. It's looking nice, nice. Looks like there's nobody down here too. Last couple of times I came down here, there's people fishing pretty much all over. Skirt, skirt. Where should we start? Skirt, skirt, skirt. We can at least make a couple casts right here. If we don't see or hear or feel any action, we can roll over to the cove, but I, I want to try it real quick. Let's give it a shot. Once again, I'm fishing on Lunkers TV Defender Series from Favorite. Seven six heavy with a Origin LTE from 1.3 Fishing. It's an 8 1 to 1 reel ratio. Uh, let's see. 50 pound braid to a 15 pound fluorocarbon leader. And this is a quarter ounce Strike King swim jig with a Kitech fat swing trailer on that bad boy. Let's see if we can get one. Water looks really murky right here. I don't know if that was a fish or structure. Felt something. It scared me, it scared me, man. Sometimes with these high ratio reels, when you bump something, it'll really feel like a bite sometimes. What the hell, who's calling me? I do not know you. Do not call me if I don't know you. If I don't have your number on my phone, I am not answering. Straight up. Nada. Let's ride. There will be fish. Oh yes. There will be fish. Man, this looks a little this looks a little clearer over here, honestly. Looks nice. And there's a fish on the first cast. Hell yeah. First cast over here, baby. Nice. He's a nice fish, too. Look at him fighting. That's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. Lucky fish. Boom. Check him out. Look at that fish. He is spotted up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12 spots on. 13, 14, 15, 15 spots on this bass. There's 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 spots. First cast. Let's let him go and get us another one. Hell yeah. That was awesome. First cast. Let's get it. Dude, that fish fought hard. Got me kind of jacked. That was fun. That was fun, man. Got the adrenaline going on that first fish. Over there let's get it let's get it let's get it you know I love to chase these blow-ups man chasing blow-ups That's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. Come on out of there. That's a good fish. Better fish than the last one. Chill out. Chill out. He's hype. That's a nice fish right there. Look at that one, guys. Get him cleaned off. 
How about that? How about that right there? That's a nice healthy fall bass right there. Probably two, two and a half pounds. He's got a little black spot on him as well. Nice fish, look at that guy. Jacked. That's two. Two makes a video. I'm gonna let him go. You ready? A largemouth bass. Oh, a bass, alright. Yes, sir. That had me jacked. He hit it right here. Man, there's fish everywhere eating. Look at them. They're coming up everywhere. They're coming up everywhere. Look at them everywhere. Feeding frenzy. There was like douche, douche, douche. That was crazy. It was like five fish all hit at the same time. That was nuts. What's up with my jig, dude? Swimming a little funny. No time to mess with that. We're throwing a brand new Kitek on there. Same thing as the last video. fish blowing up everywhere. Look at them. Do, 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 do. They got me running back and forth. Just found a crankbait. No time to jack with that. Throw it in the pocket. Get after this fish that I know is sitting right here. They all blew up in there and then just disappeared. That's how it happens, man. They flip that switch. Two in a row like that. Boom, boom. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. It was kind of over with. Crazy. Look at that. Bait number two for the day. What's this? Another one I don't recognize. Ukilto Visions. It looks like a this looks like a custom bait or something. Or that looks really kind of hand painted. I don't know. Anybody know what this is? Bait number two. Throw that in the pocket. Could probably just walk around finding baits. A la Realistic Fishing. Shout out to Realistic Fishing. My brother from another out there doing it the hard way like your boy. If you guys are looking for another good fishing channel, go, go check that one out. Realistic Fishing on YouTube. Dude uh, keeps it real. Shows that grind. All right, guys, back at the house now. Man, I'm going to tell you, since I shut the camera off, I've spent the rest of the day and afternoon and evening trying to catch more fish for you guys, but it just did not happen. They're eating everywhere. They're tearing up, munching on bay fish. And what's crazy was there was a whole bunch of people down there fishing this evening, like people all up and down the shoreline. Never really seen that many people down there fishing at one time before. It was packed tonight to no avail. I saw nobody catch a fish. They're eating everywhere, but I don't think anybody was having any luck. Nick was down there. He said he didn't catch anything. So I showed up at the right time earlier today to catch those two and then it has been dead in the water for the rest of the day so i'm out of daylight i'm back at the house now but let's go out in the garage and take a look at those two baits that i found all right here's what we ended up with two fish one with 15 black spots on it that was cool that's why they call them the black bass you know they have those black spots on there some of them but i have never seen one with 15 spots before so that was cool had to count them twice first up in the free bait lineup the bomber 7a the little bomber 7a Little baby bass type color. Looks to be in decent shape. Free bait. 
This one is really cool. Look at this. This thing is like got this little signature on top. Let's see if I can get that to focus in on that. So this one has this signature on top. It looks to be like a cus kind of custom type paint job, maybe. I don't know. If, is it, if this is a production lure, y'all let me know. But it definitely has. It looks to be. See that signature there? It doesn't look like factory, if you know what I'm saying. I don't know. I don't know enough about hard plastic baits or baits in general to even speak on it. But if anybody knows what this is, go down in the comments and let me know. Pretty cool little jerk bait, hard jerk bait. It's got some rattles in it. Chartreuse belly, purple blue top, really cool. Love that color. Not a bad find at all. Couple free baits today, not bad. And while we're at it, I'm gonna go ahead and show you a couple of the other baits that I found while I've been down there fishing. Just some baits from the past that I have here in the drawer. Thought I'd break them out and just show them to you guys. Nothing special, but still a few more free baits that I found while I was fishing. Most recent one, this little guy right here. Missing a hook, but it's another little, little crankbait. And then also this one, another little crankbait, little red craw pattern, it's a little square bill. Also missing a hook, but that's okay. Easily fixable, free bait. Sounds like that one's got a rattle. Yeah, that one rattles. This one rattle? Yep, they both rattle. Speaking of rattles, here's the last one. Little rattle trap. Oh, good old rattle trap. That's a classic right there. Everybody has one of these in their tackle box. The last bait I'm gonna show you guys before I wrap this one up is this bait right here. Now this isn't a bait that I found. This isn't one that I found while I was fishing. This isn't a free bait. This bait has a different story behind it. This bait is special. If you guys wanna know why this bait's so special, be sure you tune into tomorrow's video. I'm gonna talk about this bait and I will tell you guys in the video tomorrow why this bait is so special to me. Not this bait, yes, a whopper plopper. Not like this kind of bait, no. This one specific bait right here this one not all of them not all whopper ploppers just this one tune in tomorrow to find out what i'm rambling about i have a feeling that if i had just taken these with me we might have been able to trigger some more of those fish to bite but i don't know i have to find out I'm definitely gonna bring these down there tomorrow i left them sitting on the bench that's about all i got for you today guys Thank you so much for tuning in. It means the world to me that you take time out of your day to watch one of my videos. Go down below, click that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of my future content. If this is your first V-Duck video, check that description. Go click that video playlist, go back and get caught up. There's like 16 videos before this one, so there's a bunch of content for you to see. There's a lot to get caught up on if you're new. But that's gonna be it for me today. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace.